Take bread away from me, if you want, take air away, but do not take from me your laughter. Do not take away the rose, the land's flower that you pluck, the water that suddenly bursts forth in joy, the sudden wave of silver born in you. My struggle is harsh and I come back with eyes tired, at times from having seen the unchanging earth, but when your laughter enters, it rises to the sky, seeking me, and it opens for me all the doors of life. It's wonderful to see how he really appreciates her and loves her in her full self. And she also does the same. And that's just the best. That's all I can wish for my sister. A lot had to go right for both of us to be standing here today. We were born on opposite sides of the world. Both our families decided to immigrate to not just the United States, but the state of Washington. I had to accept the right job and move across Washington to Spokane. We both then had to be looking for love at the same time and take a chance of the photos and few lines of text we saw on our phones with someone we would want to meet. I would rather spend one lifetime with you than face all the ages of this world alone. I can't imagine my life without you. You've moved from mi novia to mi prometida. Now I couldn't be more excited to call you mi esposa. And I can't wait to start this next chapter of our lives together. I love you. My thought you have continuously captured my heart by being exactly who you are. The sweetest, most loving, compassionate, and nerdiest person I know. I look forward to sharing with you the beautiful moments of life. To spend the rest of my days laughing with you in moments of hilarity and to cry with you in times of deep sadness to keep updating these vows as we go because one set can cover a lifetime of growing and changing with you raising children with you and falling more in love with you i see these vows not as promises but as privileges the privilege to dream with you celebrate with you and walk beside you in life which today becomes our life together Te amo. Love isn't happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your story. It's not one moment, and it's not even this moment. It is every moment. It includes both big moments, saying I love you for the first time, getting engaged, moving across the state to be with one another, as well as a million little ones that come in between. Leslie and Michael, may you love and care for each other every day of your life. May you both have a long life. May you have peace, compassion, patience, empathy that reigns in your relationship. Love can look different from one person to the next. We all know it when we see it, and we see it here. And Michael, you may not kiss your bride. Getting a big hug when you get home from work, these everyday moments fused together into one big experience. And even though this experience is so incredible that words fail us when we try to explain it, that's just the way it is with love. It's meant to be felt and not described.
Michael, it's my eldest son. And this is a great day. I've got a daughter. I've got a daughter. God, this girl is really falling hard and fast for this guy. She's grinning at all the text messages that he's sending her and everything is just so cheesy.